prayers of protection over our soldiers. And speaking of track also, he just turned 19. And uh, when he turned 18, though, right before he enlisted, he had to um, get his first tattoo. And I'm like, nah, I, I don't think that's real cool, son, until he showed me what it was. And I thought, oh, we did something right. Because on his calf, he has a big old Jesus fish. So that was okay. And then on his shoulder, then he had to get another one on his shoulder. Big old map of Alaska with the valley inked into the middle of it. But I'm like, okay, that's enough with the tattoos, son. But um, so having grown up here and then having little kids growing up here also, this is such a special, special place. Uh, The Assembly of God here has been a real center point in the valley for all these years, and the valley being a center point for the state of Alaska. So what comes from this church, I think, has great destiny. And I say this to the Master's Commission students who have been here under this umbrella, who are going to be sent out now and um, bringing people in. And I just say, bless you. And um, you guys are all a bunch of cool-looking Christians also. Ben, I don't know you well yet. But looking at you, I'm thinking, people are going to be interested in Jesus Christ through you because of the way you look. This red-headed Sasquatch for Jesus. You look good. Times are really changing. And with the times that change, looks even change. You know, and, 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 and um, that's something that I did notice about you guys. You, you know, just, just hip and, uh, and unique and creative. I see a lot of creativity in all of you. I, I just want to bless you. And oh, because I didn't know if I was going to make it here or not tonight, I flew in from Juneau last night, fly to Juneau again tomorrow. So I didn't prepare anything thinking that, no, our schedule wouldn't allow me to be here. But I have a word, but really it's, I'm cheating because it was a word that was given to me today. But I'm going to give it to the Master's Commission students because I think it's so applicable to where they're headed. And this word was given to me, bless his heart, by Pastor Ed Callens this morning at our big valley wide. Uh, church service. It was cool. Ephesians 1.17. And this is what I want to pray over you guys too. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him. And that spirit of revelation also, including that spirit of prophecy, that God's going to tell you what is going on and what is going to go on. And you guys are going to have that within you and it's just going to bubble up and bubble over and, and it's going to pour out throughout the state of Alaska. Again, good, good things in store for the state of Alaska. Let us pray for God's will to be done here, for all of your destinies to be met in this state. Um, There's been so many words, Ed, over the state of Alaska. We being uh, the head, not the tail. And um, I see things now in the works. It seems like things are, that's coming to fruition. Things are, are percolating. Things are coming along. And um, just, you know, uh, praying for an outpouring of God's spirit here, that revival to be here in Alaska. So all you Master's Commission students and all of your supporters, all of your friends and family and, and um, your, your friends in this community and throughout the state of Alaska, may you touch them all and may Alaska be blessed through all of you guys. And I love you guys and thank you so much for dedicating your lives to Jesus Christ. Thank you. Let's come out. Let's give the Lord a hand for our governor, Paul Riley. Come on, let's give Jesus thanks because this is, she declared some things that were powerful. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just, we forgot to talk about Pastor Muthi. Yeah, at, as I was mayor and Pastor Muthi was here and he was praying over me and you know how he speaks, he, he, uh, and he's so bold. He's praying, uh, uh, Lord, make a way, Lord, make a way. And um, I'm thinking, this guy is really bold. He doesn't even know what I'm going to do. He doesn't know what my plans are. And he's praying not, oh, Lord, if it, your, if it be your will, may she become governor or whatever. No, he just prayed for it. He said, Lord, make a way and let her do this next step. And that's exactly what happened. So, again, very, very powerful coming from this church. So that was awesome about Pastor Muthi. Yeah. Stay right. This is awesome. <clears throat> Making a prophetic declaration and it unfolds the kingdom of God, you know, and so there is a prophetic call. But Paul Riley, you know, I know this is not in the program, but she said, pray, pray, pray. So we just keep standing if you have the grace for it. If not, we understand. But we want to pray 
And I want to please pray for Sarah. I know we, for Governor Sarah, I know we had an opportunity to pray over you. It was an honor to declare that word over you with the wisdom. But there were some things about the natural resources, about the state. There were some things that God wants to tap into to be a refuge for the lower 48. And I believe Alaska is one of the refuge states. Come on, you guys, in the last days. And hundreds and thousands of people are going to come to the state to seek refuge. And the church has to be ready to minister to them. Amen. So could you pray as her pastor and as I, you're my covering too because you started this church back in the 50s. And I want to thank you for will you please pray for our governor and what she's basically requested. Father, we are so humble and grateful to you for your mercy and love, for your kindness. And we have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Lord, we thank you because you have blessed us with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places. And today we have experienced that as we have gathered together in your name. And Lord, we declare your goodness. We declare your love. We declare your provision. We pray that you'd go before Sarah, that you would give her great wisdom, great strength, and, Lord, that you will give her uh, help and unity with those whom she works with. And we pray, Lord, that your presence will be so real that we will say, this is a God thing. This is a God thing. And, Lord, that you are with us every day, all along the way, in our family, in our uh, planning and, Lord, we just ask you, we just ask you that your touch will be upon us. <laughs> that we will be rooted and grounded in love. And that your love will abound to the multitudes that need your love. We thank you, Lord, for this occasion. We thank you for our governor, and we ask your blessing upon her family and her future. And Lord, we are just expecting great and mighty things through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, what we have for uh, our governor, we gave her one of our diplomas, Master's Commission diplomas, for her to take back. And so we just, this, this says a big thank you right across it from the Master's Commission. So, and it's yours. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate this. And one last thing, as I travel around the state, it's really cool to get to visit other communities and visit other churches. And uh, once in a while, a pastor will, will come up to me before the service starts and says, now, I don't know about your background, but, you know, we welcome you to our worship service. And now don't be surprised if maybe a parishioner or two may want to raise their hands or clap. And I say, I grew up at Wasilla Assembly of God. Nothing freaks me out about the worship service. <laughs> so much. God bless you. Amen. Praise God.